let me start. Uh, if you've got the handout, you may wonder what it has to do with uh, what you're doing here. Because basically the um, like setups that I have here are if winter comes, can spring be far behind? Oh, oh. I love it. <laughs> and what you have is some Libium. daffodils, and you have some spent bulbs, and, and some and references. Um, You've got your yeah. seeds ready to the plant. Seed, um, books, um, horticultural the books. The gloves. And the gloves. And so um, there's a little theme there. It's a theme, still life, which we've done um, in many ways before. <coughs> um, and I, the, the, re, the way it relates to this handout, which is called, why are you working with that photograph? I don't mean it in an accusatory way at all, but I, I spent a little time thinking about this. Um, partly some things came up last week, but it's a, it's a subject always. And we have had exercises where we've used photographs and worked with the upside down, um, photograph, which is, a, I think, a very interesting exercise. Um, but I sat around with my own little head thinking about this, and then I put it all down, blather, 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 on this paper. <laughs> now, why are you working with that photograph? And um, I just want to outline this. And the reason um, it has any relationship to this would be that if you look at these um, arrays in front of the tables, you'll see that probably there's a moment where you say, ah, um, wait a minute, how, what, you know, I look there and then I see Lee through that here and what's she doing there? And, and then, I mean, this stuff all over because they are not uh, faced against a plain wall as we've done many things or on a surface a little below you so they're all already kind of focused. These, you have to do all the focus work. Um, uh -huh. And um, this, this little treatise, thesis, my thesis here, um, is uh, if you chose to, you're welcome to, um, you know, do an iPad or take a picture or do whatever. Um, I was going to bring in some beautiful <coughs> photographs of the same subject matter, which was going to be my beautiful exercise. And then at 6.30, when I started printing, um, my printer, uh, well, no, but the ink cartridge, and I did not have another black cartridge. So the, the um, color was terrible. So <laughs> I thought, that will not help me. So I'm going to sort of mention this. Um, anyway, uh, what? Why are you working with that photograph and what happens? And the thing that to emphasize, I find is, is I mean, sort of obvious, but very important, is the three, you know, going from 3D, you're looking at these things and in space. Um, and um, whereas if you're looking at a photograph of any sort, it is t 2D. And when something is 2D, two dimensional, it already is halfway to where, where you are going, because you are trying to do, uh, convert the 3D thing to a painting, which is 2D. So, um, what I'm saying, or, or I think when one recognizes what, what happens in this process, you can, um, it sometimes better enables you to do this yourself with your eye in a 3D setup, which is that, the photograph, the iPad picture, for instance, um, it sorts out the distance between things. Um, if this were your uh, subject matter, which is a pot and um, uh, some citrus and, fruits, and then some hair, um, we have a bowl here, a plate there with the hairs on it, and a um, uh, some kind of a vase or a pot. The, um, the transition between these things in 3D 
um, when you see it here, you do not always see immediately the way in which the stacking of, or you know, the layering of the forward board, which is perspective, the way in which it goes, it, it can be a confusion, and your eye is going everywhere because your eye can go there. So you're looking at that, and then you're looking at that, and you're always a slightly different um, uh, angle. And then there's space between the sheet. You kind of go in for the space between and around these things with your eye, and if not, just with your mind. But um, the camera simplifies that. So what was space becomes line. And all the things that we've talked so much about, like following the path of the whites, or um, you know, rhythm of color, or the, the various um, motifs that, that are aid to composition, um, they become planar, flat, and become line where they were volume. I mean, they're still volume, but we are now looking at that picture and, and knowing that it's volume. Just the way we look there, we know it's volume too, but it's still 3D. So there is a simplification that happens that converts to, you could say to convert, converts to line. It's not just line. But, um, and you're very likely to see things in a much more organized way, which is why some people would feel and it may be true, but I, I, it's arguable, that it can be simpler to paint from a photograph, because it has done a lot of your work. Um, however, things change when you use a photograph. And I came up with it, maybe because I just went to a play, Henry V, which is over now. Oh, I was so fabulous. Who did it? At the Folger. It, it was absolutely <clears throat> splendid production. Um, so, um, on the other side of this, I said that perhaps working with photographs against versus working from a, set, a 3D setup in front of you is a bit like film versus theater. And this is also arguable. I'm ready for any. We'll have big discussions later. But, um, but in what, when you're watching a play, you again, you're, you're, you're going here and there. I mean, it could be a play, it could be an opera, whatever. Um, uh, maybe Joan is Henry V and she is pronouncing things in the middle of the stage. However, you're very likely, while she's talking, your eye is going here, you're seeing the conversation between two people over there, which in fact you're meant to really, but um, you're always going in and out of these spaces, your attention changes, and you're filling that air in with kind of your interpretations. So it's, it's a much more reciprocal thing when you're working with the real objects. And I don't want to make a value judgment. Don't ever, you know, have a yes, work with photographs, too, no, whatever. It's, it's more um, to appreciate what happens when you do use a photograph, and, or if you don't and to see what it is that this does. And I find that important. Um, and then I threw out a little question here, and here's another arguable. I said, I wonder if you have noticed the one, if you, if you set up something at home, say we do something here, and you think, oh, you know, I really loved working with tulips or oyster shells or whatever, and you, you go home and you put things out on your own counter, on your own kitchen table, it, it set up in your own window, unlike my window things. Um, I wonder if you, I'm suggesting that possibly you find that easier or you know you get rolling better. It may not be true, but my, my, my thought is that your familiarity with your home, with your kitchen counter, with your window, with a tree outside of it, um, already is, as it, with a photograph, it's, it's doing some editing because you've been there, done that, kind of, and you're able to say, it's the tree I'm going for, and I know that tree, the way the branches go. Where, whereas <coughs> with my arbitrary setups, you have to do the waiting and the picking. So these are my thoughts, profound thoughts, <coughs> um, and maybe it doesn't have a lot to do with today, except um, if you could think yourself 
through with that um, conversion, every time you see something, I, th I believe you'll, um, it'll, every time it just adds to your composition. Expertise. Expertise. <laughs> Expertise. <laughs> but here is the, um, uh, this stuff with the pears and the cycle, not cycle, but whatever it's called, clementine and a, and a pot. The, the um, reflected lights in this, you know, if you look, you say, bing, 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 bing. Um, that kind of simplification that the camera does um, is both a truth and a bit of a lie. Uh, but when you see it in this, just the way if you look now at these pairs or at anything you want to, and you see some highlights or some reflected lights or whatever, um, you, you have to wait, that's, that's something again that you have to wade through. And, and you're not going to see them the way they are here, as though they were not literally painted on. You know, somebody had taken a little bit of masket, ma frisket or whatever, and gone ding, 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 which is, is true, the lights are hitting that way. But it is, um, I mean, I'm not saying it's a distortion, it's, it's such a simplification that you may not see it as easily in your own, you know, looking at something real in front of you. So um, appreciate that. And also it will, um, you're probably going to be more aware of exactly how those highlights really conform to the form because it's here. It's already like a painting. It's already been done for you by the almighty truth of the camera, which is not an almighty <coughs> truth. That's what I want you to be sure to think about. So here is the, um, and if we wanted to be cameras, we would be cameras, right? 